Your next comic coming to the stage, a very funny guy, good friend of mine. Please welcome Mr. Fucking my friend to Mary Jane. You might like her, she's pretty cool, but beware. Call her in public, she may get you in jail. The joke about smoking weed, I just thought of it earlier, but it wasn't. You know, you guys. You guys are eating, what are you eating over there? I understand it's food. We're, we're humans. Do you, I mean, you guys are entertained talking to yourselves about Jersey Shore and shit? Let's have a good time! Order a drink! Can I buy them shots? Yeah! yeah. Those two ladies right there, two shots, whatever they want. Put it on my tab. Let's tell some jokes. <laughs> Still nothing. Fascinating. I love America. I love America. Uh, healthcare just passed. And uh, I want to say thank you to Barack Obama for being the world's greatest wingman. Just recently I was unemployed for about five months and uh, I was looking for ways to invest my money and one night I happened to go to a bar and there was an old lady there. She's 65 years old and she was drinking and I was also drinking and I have a fucked up sense of humor so I wanted to see where things could go. <laughs> and while I'm drinking I'm like, oh man, I'm trying to like weigh out the pros and cons. I'm trying to be a responsible adult and shit. And so, you know, I'm thinking, you know, you find a 65-year-old lady, she's got, especially after healthcare passing with the death panels, a good five years to live. So, I mean, you marry an old lady, after she passes, you got a nice pension, a new Lincoln, uh, hard candy on demand, and the best thing of all is you'd no longer have to worry about fucking in the shower seven days out of a month, because Aunt Flo's dead. She's too old for time out. She doesn't menstruate anymore, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, no, well, uh, well, healthcare was up in debate. The uh, Tea Party was out protesting, and I was moved by it. I, uh, you know, being the youth of a generation, I read about, uh, you know, back in the glory days at Berkeley and shit, and I, you know, I'm like, let's make a change. Let's make a change because every person deserves a health healthcare. So I see the Tea Party out protesting with their cool signs, you know, no Obamacare, with their Photoshop pictures of Hitler and Obama like meshed together, even though Hitler was against socialism, and the Tea Party claims Hitler was a social or Obama is a socialist. So what I did is I went to my street dealer and picked up some Viagra. I don't have health care. So I picked up some Viagra and I popped some Viagra. And I opened my apartment window and made my own signs. You know, I had that picture of Obama where he's all cool and shit. That like black suave, like white teeth out there. Like, don't rob me, motherfucker. The lights off. You know, and it said hand jobs for healthcare. And as people walked by, they would give it a tug if they wanted healthcare to pass. <laughs> Holy shit! Not that many people are interested in politics in this country because I sat there unpleasured for about six hours. And because I don't have health insurance, I couldn't go to the doctors for them to take care of it. So I had to resort to internet pornography. The quality of porn on the internet is disgusting these days. If only Larry Flint were conscious enough to realize what people have done to his industry, he would be sickened. Every time I go on the internet to look up some porn, I've always got some, you know, some bulging African clitoris circumcision seizure, you know, video, tight virgins with blood pussing out all over the screen, and uh, apparently gay pornography is uh, rampant on the internet these days, because that's a, uh, trannies is a new thing, and it's uh, disturbing. Makes me sick for those drunk nights when I come home from the bar, and I've spent $60 on a bitch that is not going home with me. I want to jerk off, and I end up jerking off. Halfway through, I realize it's some she -male. You know, fucking. I tried to entertain you guys. You're probably not impressed, but that's all right. 
My name is Dan Ursum. Jesus loves you. And anything he can do, I can do better. Watch the news, smoke weed, and let's make a change in this country. Thank you. Good night.